Can you put it into words how big that win was last night? Well, they won a championship, Dano, as you said. <laughs> it, it was uh, it was so emotional. And the same thing Sunday night, game one. And, and obviously a lot had to do with the Knicks performance. But there's so much more that went into it. Um, and, and it's kind of hard to describe. But um, it was like the perfect storm. Here you have this loyal, hungry fan base that has been tortured, and heartbroken time and time again, not just with no playoffs, but brutal seasons. So eight years of going through that, that's number one. And I think just as important is the, the pandemic. It's kind of like the family reunion. We've all watched those videos of families who haven't seen each other for a year and they, they get to see their mother or father for the first time or their brothers and it's so emotional. It was like the Nick family reunion at the garden. And, and right after the national anthem of game one Sunday, you know, this powerful national anthem, one of the, the great stars of Hamilton sang it. And then the, the, the chants start. I was looking around the arena and our broadcast location is, is in now. It's about 20 rows up. So we're in the midst of the fans, not on the court. Uh, there were people who were crying and not just a couple. There were a lot. It was such an emotional thing because it was really the first sports gathering uh, in New York City, which, like many cities, went through you know horrific times. So the emotions just they got you caught up. I, I was emotional myself. But to explain this to somebody, and you you do games all over the NBA in every venue, but to where does this atmosphere rank of of the different basketball arenas that you've called games in? Well, I. I, I Full disclosure, uh, I'm probably not the most objective. I grew up in New York. I've lived in New York my whole life. I've been a, you know, was a Nick fan when I was seven years old, captured by Clyde and Willis and the Busher. Uh, so I might not be the most objective, but I think in a big event, in a big game, there's no better building in, in sports. And uh, again, because it has not had that. Let me put it this way. Over the last several years, there's been games in April where the Knicks are 20 games under 500. They've been eliminated from playoff consideration for, for a, a month or so. And if it's a two-point game with two minutes to go, the building sounds like it's game seven of the finals. It's, it's crazy because of this, this hungry, desperate fan base that, that experienced years ago a great team, and they're just, they just want a team that, that, that makes them proud and, and makes them feel like they have a chance to win every night. 